hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding the pause menu okay so on the game scene what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new canvas by the name of main menu okay and then in here we're gonna create a new panel make this panel black like this make this to 50 okay let's actually make it fully black and move it at the top okay now inside this panel we're gonna create a uh, image so uh, image name this as background go in here uh, take this and then drop it okay make the width of it as 600 by 600 or let's say 500 by 500 okay Then in here we're gonna create two buttons. So create UI legacy button. Let's name this as leave game. Okay. We're gonna add this button UI to it. Then go inside the button, change its color to white. Select the font size, select the text size as well. Then select the whole button, change its width to 300 by 100 or let's just say 80 let's type leave okay make this 200 let's make this three 300 and 60 that's it make this 30 okay so this is the leave game This will be quit game. Okay. Then let's go ahead and deactivate that. That is all. Click on main menu, click on game, then scripts, UI scripts. And right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new C sharp script by the name of Game Manager. Click on Main Menu, drag and drop the script. Let's open this up. Remove these two. At the top, add. Let's actually not add anything. And simply right here, let's create a reference. Actually, first of all, create a bool by the name of is menu. Open this will be equals to false. Then create a reference to the menu UI. Then in the update, we're gonna say that if the escape button is pressed, okay, so if input dot get key down and the key code is dot escape and where is it i forgot to okay here is the button <laughs> all right okay so if the is menu opened is equals to false as well then we're gonna open up the menu so menu ui dot set active true and we're gonna unlock the cursor so cursor dot lock state equals to cursor lock mood dot none okay then we're gonna say is menu opened equals to true then in the else if 
you can see if the escape button is pressed and the menu is opened okay so if this is true then we're gonna close the menu so let's copy that paste it change this to false and this to false and let's lock the cursor back again okay and now let's uh, public void leave game and right here what we're gonna do we're gonna say debug dot log game leave okay and we're gonna say application dot quit that is all we have to type right here now let's add the menu ui in there which is this panel let's actually name this now as menu ui okay let's activate it and select these two buttons click on click event to it drag and drop the main menu and let's select the leave game method on both of them okay and once you do that deactivate the menu ui let's change our scene to menu and let's test this out okay so let me start the game then i will show you all right so let's start the game here it is let's move out let's press escape here it is this is our uh, menu but if you notice we can still shoot and control our player okay and we actually don't want that but now if you click on leave as you can see it shows game leaved okay so it means that it is working and this will work if you build your game okay so just click on build settings right here click on build and run and when you do that right here in your folder just create a new folder like this as for example i've created this game setup i will select this folder and click on build and run and then it will start and then when the game is running you can then check the leave button and when you click it it will shut down the game okay as you can see it is working game leaved but we need to stop the game whenever we uh, whenever the menu is active so in order to do that make uh actually we can't do this okay because uh, our game is an online game so what we're gonna do we're gonna just leave this as it is but when the menu is opened right here we're gonna say audio listener dot pause equals to true and when the menu is removed we're gonna set it to false okay because when the menu is open we don't want to hear any shooting sounds okay and also let's go ahead and click on the game click on menu ui okay select the this is as you can see this is our whole ui so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this like this okay so that it covers the whole screen okay make sure that you do that as well and now we can test it out again so let me start the game and show you okay so let's start the game now when we open up the menu as you can see uh, we can't hear the sounds and also when the menu is open we don't want to show this nor the crosshair nor this okay as you can see we can still show this and the help bar so we want to disable all of these things so in order to do that let's create a reference to them so public game object health and crosshair then public game object score ui then public game object scope ui okay make a references to all of them then when the game is paused we will uh, disable the health so type its name then the score ui as well then the scope ui as well and type dot set active false okay then select all of them paste them right here and we can set it to true back again 
actually we don't need to set the scope ui to true back again okay it will be just false actually we need to do it so i'm gonna just do it okay click on game then here then this is our scoreboard okay so drag and drop the score ui then after this score we have to add the health and crosshair but as you know that that is inside the player okay so what we can do right now is to just simply remove them we can remove the scope ui and this health scope and health okay i have to think something else about this so remove scope and health okay so we will just deactivate the score ui okay for now and this is also guys a task for you guys as well uh, figure this out and let me know as well and also i will think about this and figure this issue out and then i will make a video on it but uh, now with this done our whole, whole course is now complete okay and if you have any problem uh, then do let me know okay